Howdy, howdy everyone. Today in this video, you will learn step by step method, how you can create your own customized theme and use it in your future emails. In this segment, creating a theme and adding the theme in Microsoft Outlook are two different tasks. So I will start with the first one. Simply click on the new email and you will see by default, a general theme is already selected. The background is white. The font and font size are normal, which are normally used by Microsoft Outlook. Now here, if, I, if you want to change the theme, starting from the background color, if you want to change it, simply click on the option tab. And here is an option under themes, which is page color. Simply click on it. You can use any color of it. You will see when I select any color, the background color will changes. You can also use more colors here and you can also fill effects. So I use this light green. Now again, I will click on the page color. I use fill effects that will give me shaded effects. I can change it according to my choice. One color, you can also use two colors effects. If you want to select the two colors, the color one is already light green. You can select your second color from this drop down. Say I want to select a little reddish, so I will select orange. Now again, I can change the shading style. Say this. You can also use the textures. Click here. And there are some pre-formatted textures available in Outlook. You can use it according to your requirement see like this this is new sprint recycled paper you can also click on other texture here it will take you to the insert picture you can select your own customized texture from here you can click on browse you can simply search from here in the bing and you can also upload your texture from the on drive personal there is another option which is pattern you will see the selection which have you have already selected in this option it will give you some more patterns here you can select any of it it's look different and the last option is picture here you can select your own customized picture some users usually use to fix a company logo as a watermark so this is the best option you can use it here from here again you have you can upload that image from the file browse or you can also upload the image from the on drive personal. These are few more options. You can use it as a fill effects. Click OK and you will see the background color is changed. Now the next option is you need to change the font style. So again, you have to click on the message and here I have to change the font. So I like Vardhana, select it, hit tab. Font size, I want to keep it to 14 and I want to make my content bold now everything is okay i will show you by writing dear sir it's look great now the next step is i need to save this template which is the first part of this video for that i have to simply click on the file tab click on save as you can select the location i usually select the location as a desktop so here is my desktop now you have to name it say i want to name Amit Bansal, my own name. And I have to select the folder type. So here I have to select HTML from the multiple options and simply hit save. Close this window also. Now my, now this is my HTML saved in my desktop. Now I want to add this HTML file into my Outlook backend stationary folder. So what I have to do, I have to simply Click on any folder of my system and in the address bar, I have to paste this address. This address is already added in the description section. You can simply copy it from there, enter, and you will see the stationary folder is blank because there is no customized signature added in it. So now I have to copy my HTML file from my desktop and simply paste it here. So I paste here. My HTML file is pasted here. Now I have to again go to the Outlook application. Again, click on File tab, click on Options, go to Mail from the left navigation section. And here you have to select 
Use stationery to change default fonts and styles, colors and backgrounds. You have to click here, stationery and fonts. And now here, personal stationery. There is an option theme, click on it. And you will find your customized theme here. My name, Amit Bansal, stationery and simply hit OK. Simply hit OK and OK. Now when I click on the new email, my background is changed. My font, Vardhana is available here. My font size is available here. Change it to bold, which is also already selected. Now the, the theme is already ready for you to make a new email or you can also use the same theme in a when you want to reply or forward the email. If you want to change or remove the theme, you can also manually change it. Simply again go to the options here, no color. You can select simply that the background color is, is removed. Go to the message, you can again change it. You can manually change it. There is no restriction that if you have you are using a customized theme, you are unable to change it, you can change it. Uncheck the bold and now everything is as normal as you want it. So that way you can very easily create your own customized theme. You can very easily add it to your Outlook application and use it anytime you want. So if you have learned something new from this video, please like and subscribe my YouTube channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon so you will never miss out any Outlook tips and problem solver videos I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.